Hello and welcome to Mind Rules. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also, you can hit me up on Instagram. The link will be on the screen. Today's story comes from Eastbourne, where a man stabbed a police officer. Paul Cunningham carried out a 15-year vendetta against officers, leading to him stabbing PC Richard Bly at random in Eastbourne Town Centre. Mr Cunningham, 43, has in the past made threats to throw acid at officers and also to stab them. During the early hours when PC Bly asked Mr Cunningham if he was okay, he attacked him. Mr Cunningham was carrying a lock knife and stabbed the officer in the leg. He told PC Bly's desperate colleagues, I want to kill all police. I wish I had got it from oral archery. The court heard how Mr Cunningham said I hate the police and shouted Black Lives Matter as he claimed he could not breathe as he was being arrested. Police believe he holds extremist views when they heard him saying anti-Semitic abuse shouting the only people who are hated more than the police are the Jews. The judge said Mr Cunningham was clearly a danger and this offence is him carrying out his desire to take revenge on a police officer. The incident unfolded in Terminus Road at 1am September the 14th. PC Bloy was about to leave the area when he saw Mr Cunningham grinning and asked him if he was okay. This is just my opinion. Why would you think something was wrong with someone who was grinning or smiling? I just get the feeling the officer was going to go over there anyway. You know the old stop and search, you fit the description of someone that's just committed a crime in the local area, you know that normal rubbish that they say. The officer was concerned for Mr Cunningham who was intoxicated, but as he stepped out of the police car Mr Cunningham stabbed him. As police battled to stem the bleeding of PC Bly, Mr Cunningham turned nasty. Mr Cunningham said, fuck the police, I hate the police. PC Bly described it as an horrific assault that has left him physically scarred. He went on to say, I have no doubt if it was not for the fact that I was crude with others, I would not be alive today. His intentions was to kill me. He holds no respect for the law or authority. Underneath the uniform, I am still a human being with a family and loved ones. Who is he to attempt to take a life? As police tried to get Mr Cunningham an ambulance, he spat at them and in the end they had to use a spit hood and spray to subdue him. When he arrived in custody to have his photograph taken, he stuck up his middle finger at the camera, with his hands still covered in PC Bly's blood. The judge said his hatred stems back to Mr Cunningham believing he was once wrongfully arrested in 2005. Mr Cunningham refused to leave prison for his sentencing hearing. The judge sentenced him to seven and a half years, but because he is so dangerous and a high risk of attacking police, he will not be released halfway through his jail term. A parole board will have to decide if he is safe to be released after he has served two thirds of his sentence. Thereafter, he will remain on license for an extra five years, so the overall sentence will last for 12 and a half years. Mr Cunningham is now behind bars for inflicting grievous bodily harm with intent, possession of a bladed weapon in public, and assaulting a second emergency worker, PC Jacob Jeffrey, by kicking him. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, and like always, I hope to see you in my next video.